everybody. My name is Vedat. I'm a program manager at UMass Chan a Medical School in the United States. Today, I'm going to introduce you Open Chromosome Collective, which I will refer as Open2C from now on. But before I start, I would like to thank Nomi, the chair, and the organization committee for allowing us to introduce ourselves to a broader audience here at BOSC 2024. Our core group of developers are located at the West Coast. We have developers at the USC. We have some, we have de developers at the uh, East Coast at UMass Chan Medical School at MIT. And we have developers at IMBA Vienna and FMI Basel. And additionally, we have three summer contributors funded by Google Summer of Code, one from Peru, uh, Vienna, and Turkey. So, and additionally, the other contributors that I wasn't able to uh, fit in the slide deck here. So the main biological uh, question supported by Open2C is understanding the impact of the nuclear organization on cellular function and homeostasis. Because genome organization is very critical for many cellular functions and the homeostasis, and these processes are uh, dynamic processes within the cell, and they are best interrogated using the omics methods, which um, one of them here we call, in general, we refer them as 3C, uh, chromosome conformation captures. But additionally, we also, uh, we, we do have this uh, high throughput one we called high c It's called high c And the way it works is that first you cross-link the, cross the DNA, and then you do a restriction uh, digestion, and then you ligate your restrictions, amplify the DNA, amplify, and send for deep sequencing. And then you will get a... Uh, contact matrix like you see on the right from your chimeric reads. And on the left, you will see the essays that Open2C libraries support. And on the right side, you will see the uh, pipelines that the Open2C libraries support that includes NF core high C pipeline, 4D nucleome uh, high C analysis pipeline, uh, Sanger Tree of Life, uh, and long read high C by. Uh, Poor C by uh, Oxford Nanopore Technologies. And Open2C here wants, aims to serve scientific Python community in the same way Bioconductor does for the R ecosystem. So let's see how we're going to analyze your data. Assume you have your favorite tissue or cell culture or model organism, you have your DNA and you pursue your 3C plus assays and you get them sequenced and you have your FASTQs. First, you need to align your reads to your uh, reference genome. After you align, uh, then you can use pair tools, one of our packages, to, re to realize your chimeric reads as contact pairs. And pair tools allows for further downstream analysis, which we have published a, a paper recently at the Close Computational Biology. Then, after you have your contact pairs, you can use cooler to ex to realize this as, uh, to get your contact pairs as contact uh, matrix frequency. And Cooler is a file format and a Python library for uh, manipulations of the Cooler files. And you can also have multi-resolution Cooler files. Uh, and further, you can use cool tools to extract biological information from, this, uh, from your high C data or 3C data. And additionally, we have put together a pipeline, distiller and XFLOW pipeline to enable end-to-end -end 3C analysis for people who are interested. And additionally, you can use high glass at Open2C adjacent genome browser to visualize your multi-resolution cooler files. Um, beyond that, we have a BioFrame, a package, uh, and I highly suggest uh, it, it allows, uh, it allows uh, flexible and scalable operations in the pandas data frames as genomic intervals. And I highly suggest uh, catching uh, Nazar's talk tomorrow, where he's going to talk more about how we are planning on using BioFrame and a few other libraries to um, integrate multi-omic, multimodal genomic data into Python environments. And lastly, I would like to highlight again, we have four packages that get non-focus affiliations. And with the same four packages, we also accepted Google Summer of Code participants. And here are our three excellent participants, and we are grateful to 
Google for the funding. And lastly, we had community building this spring with the SCverse. We hosted our first hackathon and we are looking forward to doing the uh, more of these events. And last, I would like to thank my PI and Hazar Abdenur and our funding sources for the Nucleon Consortium and Multiomics for Health and Disease Consortium and Google Summer of Code for the summer contributors. Thank you. Thank you.